hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please make sure you subscribe before you leave and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today we made this open abaya with um puffy sleeves and this is it i i changed how i take my videos i changed the angle i hope you guys like this so for this abaya i used a total of three yards this is two yards that i folded into um four i folded it into four then i'm placing my measurements now so the first measurement i'm placing is my neck width which i'm using 3.5 and for the neck depth i'll be making it one inch because you know it's an abaya not a dress and I'm just connecting those two points and then I'll be curving it. Then I'll place in my shoulder measurement, which is 4.5 inches. You know, um, normally I'd use four, but it's an abaya, so it's free. It's a free abaya from the thumbnail, if you saw. It's an oversized free abaya. So for the armhole too, I'm using eight which I'd normally use 7 inches, but I'm using 8 here. And I'm just extending my armhole. So for my bust point, my bust point is 34 divided by 4. It will give you 8.5. But I'll be using 12 inches for allowance. And so 3 inches will be for allowance and the 1 inch will be for sewing allowance. And that's what I'm doing. I'm placing this i'm placing um my bust measurement on the armhole line because that's the only measurement we'll be using so you can just place it on your armhole line then i'm covering the armhole here then from the armhole you can just draw a line straight and then the abaya will be the same size from the top to bottom <laughs> from top to bottom guys <laughs> or you can slant you know you can make a straight line from the armhole make a slant to the end like this and this is how i made it so you see like this the top of the abaya will be a tad bit fitted then the end will be flat out and that's how i like my abayas to be so here i'm just adding one inch which i'll be adding to the um front of the abaya because you know it's an open abaya so of course we'd have to sew in the ends of the you know open abaya i hope you get what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing i'm just adding one inch you know to the armhole but when cutting it out of course i'll just be cutting out the one inch on the front part of the abaya i won't be cutting out the one inch on the back i hope you get this guys and that's all then for the neck too i'll be adding seven inches so that the neck on the front part of the abaya which is the open part of the abaya will be slanted you know yeah so i'm going i'm going to cut out the one inch that i had you know the first pattern i cut out i'll cut it out for both of them in the beginning here i'm just adding the um half an inch shoulder slant yeah so you see the neck i cut it out on both for the back and the front then i can move the back layer and then cut out that seven inches for the front layer and I'm just cutting it out. You see? Yes. So you see that one inch that I added, right? I'm cutting it out. So you see this this layer? Yeah, I'm cutting out that one inch added to both layers. So that I'll be able to take it out on the back. You see? I hope you guys get what I'm saying. I hope so. <laughs> so you see this layer, this one here. Yeah, it will be for the back. So I'm going to take out that one inch so that the one inch will just be on the front part of the abaya. You see, that's one inch. So I'll cut it out. That's what I'm doing now. And 
then I'll be removing it. You see? Yes. So you see that one? It is still on the front part. And you see? That's the neck. Of course, I'll be taking out that 7 inches that I drew. And that's what I'm doing. And I'll be opening it up from the middle of the neck. So that, like you saw in the beginning, at um, in the clip at the beginning, um, the front part of the abaya will have this deep V neck, which I actually liked. Like it looked good. You can add a pin there to hold, you know, the two flaps of the front part of the abaya so that it can show. And then this is the one yard. Which I'll be using for that um for the belt because I made a belt too for the abaya which is optional if you want it you can make it if you don't you don't have to make it then after taking out um the belt I'll be making the puffy sleeves of course this is for the belt which I believe um, I took out six inches, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is just me folding it because the material is like, it's like a chevron. So I was trying to make it straight as possible. So I took out six inches. Of course, when you fold it into two and you sew it, you end up having a belt that is, you know, five inches or 2.5 inches on both layers and that's all then the remaining yard for the puffy sleeves i'll be folding it into two then into four guys please subscribe to my channel when you are done watching this all right now just press on that subscribe button so can you see those little legs there that is my niece I, I don't know if she will be having an act. Ah, yes, I knew it. I knew her hand would show up. I had to make this video in the night so she wouldn't be there, but alas, she didn't sleep. Yeah, so um, I just measured um 25 inches. That is the normal length for my um hand sleeve. Plus sewing allowance, of course. Without sewing allowance, is 23. So I'm cutting at 25 inches. And that's for the length. And for the width of the armhole, it's 12 inches. You know, because it's very puffy. And of course, um, after cutting it out, I'll just be drawing the normal, you know, curve for the armhole. That's what I'm doing. Guys, I hope you um you like this angle. I just decided to try it out, so please tell me if you um prefer this angle. You see, <laughs> guys, look how she's doing. She's wearing a swimsuit on her clothes. God, yeah. So I'm just showing guys how you are going to attach the sleeves. You see, you make some um ruffles at the shoulder, so that the sleeves will all fit into the armhole. Then so this is me when I'm sewing it. Uh, this is uh, where I. This is the reason why I added the one end to the front part of the ambaya because you know you have to stitch the front. Or if you are going to interlock it, or if you want to weave it, so you still need space for that. And that's why I added the one inch. And for the neck at the back, you see I added um a bias to you know fold it. And for the sleeves, of course you need a belt because you know from if you saw from the first clip there's a little bit at the end of the hand i'm just measuring my hand um so that i'd know um how to cut that little belt you see so i'll be using seven inches to hold on the ruffle but of course there's piece to tie the ruffle too so yeah Sorry to tie that little bit. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, so you see that, that little belt that I made. So I just used 7 inches to attach the ruffles. That is in the middle of the belt. And this is how I'll be sewing it, you see. Sorry, I was holding my phone with one hand and taking the videos. So, yeah, and this is how it will look. 
and that's it guys please if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe before you leave so thank you for watching and this is it